Hello YouTube. Well, I guess it's about time to do an update on the 1486. Uh, to recap, I was plowing with it, had plowed about 15 acres, and I came to the end of the field, went to raise the plow, and suddenly the tractor started making a loud grinding noise and I lost all the hydraulics. So last week I had a friend help me and we pulled it out of the field up here into the pasture where I could work on it a little easier. And uh, my pasture is actually getting pretty overgrown because I'm down to nine cows and their calves. Uh, you know, if I had a lick of sense, I'd sell what few cows I have left and rent my pasture out during the summer. Well, we'll see how long it takes me to attain that level of good sense. Anyway, at first I thought maybe the uh, the pressure plate had come apart on this thing because there's a hub on the pressure plate that drives the shaft that uh, powers the PTO and the hydraulic pump. But I took the inspection cover off and can't seem to see any problems up there around the pressure plate and the clutch. So today I'm going to pull the hydraulic pump out and see if I can see any problems with that. I was up here a couple days ago, drained the hydraulic fluid out of it. I will, uh, I will go ahead and see if I can get the pump out of this now. I don't think it's too bad a job. And I'll try and set up the action camera so uh, I can bring you along on this. So we'll see uh, what happens here. All right, I've got the hydraulic pump out and I don't really see anything with the pump that should be a problem. I do see one thing that was wrong. You can, I don't know, maybe you can see this gasket right there. Looks like it's kind of blown out and the O-ring that was in here was bad. Uh, well, it was obviously it was bad enough that it was leaking and blew out the gasket there. But uh, that's just, uh, something that was wrong anyway. I don't think that's the cause of my problems. What I did find is the uh, the gear on the PTO shaft, PTO power shaft that drives this, I can reach in there and I can turn the gear, spin it around and around. And I don't think I should be able to do that. That should be connected directly to the, uh, to the hub on the pressure plate. And uh, so, I kind of think uh, the problem might be a little more forward. So this is going to require a little more digging. All right, I've removed that cover to give me access to, uh, to the PTO gear and everything else. And I have a diagnosis. Let's see if I can... 
Let me see here. Get my flashlight. Come on here, flashlight. All right. Sorry about this. Anyway, there's the PTO gear and that spins and it shouldn't spin. But I'll, let me get the, see if I can get the flashlight up here. I don't know if you can see that, but the, oh my gosh, this is gonna be hard. I don't have enough hands. But anyway, you see those splines up in there. Uh, let me see if I can, hold on here. You see those splines turning? They're not supposed to turn. They're the ones that go into that hub. So, turns out my original diagnosis was correct. Only the, uh, it's not broken. It looks like the splines have, uh, have come off either that shaft or the hub on the pressure plates. So, uh, either way, it's, uh, it's split the tractor. You know, I've got a bad feeling about the splines on that shaft. If the, if the uh, splines are ruined in that hub and they were grinding on there, uh, it doesn't bode well for the splines. I should probably find out how hard those things are to come by and, and how hard they are to, to install before I do anything else. Anyway, that's an update on the 1486. It's still down and probably will be for the foreseeable future. I'll give an update at some later date. So until next time, everyone out there have a good day.